Hey guys, welcome back to part 14. 14. Mm, that's what I saw going over here. The fabled coffee thermos. I assume, like, it doesn't look like it gives me, like, collectibles right away. I wonder if, like, Nightmare includes shit like health packs and stuff. This is the end of the level. Uh, this might just get tacked on to uh, episode 13. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Jesus, let's just run for The coal him. mine wasn't far now. As a weird transition, it cuts to him pulling up on a hill, and then it's like... Today, oh. I would meet Cut. the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alan, but I can swim. I don't have any guns. Did you just leave all your guns in the truck? Dude, I was so loaded down on resources. Okay. I was thinking this might be near the end of the episode. It was not. that one page, the one about, like, I locked him out and I watched this. I enjoyed the scream a little bit. I'm sure there was a smile on my face. That must happen, like, way later in the story. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Before I just fucking hoof it. Let's, uh, let's double check to make sure I can take the car. Because this game lets you drive places. And that looks like a long road. So, hold on. Before I make some really shit decisions, how about that I, uh... Mm -hmm. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. <laughs> I drive this Jeep. Oh, I can. Shit. We got fucking GTA cars left and right now. How many different drivable cars did you guys put in this game? I mean, more the merrier, right? It's just like, we have three guns. There's the hunting rifle, the shotgun, and the revolver. We have two different types of flashlights. We have uh, f uh, flares and flashbangs. I don't see anything over here. You can see my paranoia of missing stuff is showing through. You're welcome. So yeah, I had this talk with a friend of mine where I was just like, I need to stop being like a completionist in games. Because it's not... It kills pacing. And I'm running around just looking for random stuff. The problem is, is that like, that's just how I play games.
Oh, it's my favorite thing. A cliff. Okay. Oh, there's a random staircase here. What's up here? I make note that the levels are getting, like, a little more open-ended as you go in this. Like, the first levels are very restrictive, but in the last few ones, they're like, yeah, here, just kind of run around wherever the hell you want over here. Can I GTA this car? He's gonna keep letting me steal cars. I'm a fugitive. Well, I mean, I'm already a fugitive. Stealing cars isn't gonna make it any worse. I don't even know what I'm a fugitive from. This is a game that would be cool to see updated to, like, HD graphics. Yeah, I can legit just take this car. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big-shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a... A lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order, either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Hmm. Thanks, Pat. Means more than you know. GTA this vehicle. Which is weird because in the first vehicle section, they don't let you take any other cars yet, do they? I'm trying to think because I'm pretty sure I tried all the cars in the first area that I ran by after I totaled my first one. It wouldn't let me take any other ones, would it? It's fucking weird, man. So it's it's interesting you can be like these car sections. Oh look, it's the building from Firewatch. Game that doesn't come out for another ten years. At least from this game, anyways. Firewatch is a game I wanna play. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Or being a quotation mark walking sim. KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or childish, even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But <laughs> what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from me. 
Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Hmm. So this is cool. They use the opportunity to, like, characterize the people. I like that. I think that's really interesting, you know? Pat main for Nightwave. Round two. Nightwave is the Warframe thing. They introduced like a late night, like a nighttime radio host. But it's like a 19, like 60s, 70s era, like almost kind of like, like, like kind of like African American like woman. So she has that like, bit of like that draw to her and. Hmm. Uh, Nora Knight, Warframe. Google, or you look it up on YouTube. You'll understand right away what I'm talking about. For a second, I thought I was just like just hitting a fucking wall. Vermont, spying on the writer and the fairy had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look of the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Okay, so Mott had been watching me since the boat. I wonder if you go back to the beginning of the game, if you, like can like see him watching you out of like the corner out of, out of like the corner of your eye like if you turn the camera you can like see him like looking at you and watching you that's an interesting thought I'm not a visitor. I'm Alan I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Aha. So this, uh, this is cool. So like they're just giving you time to like soak in the story, basically. Huh. While there were some early residents in the area, the true genesis of the Bright Town Falls came with founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work has, was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mine. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at. The volcanic activity in the area made the mine shaft particularly dangerous. Bunch of old mining equipment and shit. Hmm, piece of the manuscript here. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Mm. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining towns to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. I wonder if I can end up going all the way over there. This game is pretty good about like letting you go like the extra mile, I guess. 
that I can looks like I can get to. I mean some of that looks pretty well textured down there. Oop. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Of course he did. Ah, I have all my stuff back. Holy Jesus. Wait, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Maybe closer than ever before. Coffee thermos, very important. I guess secondary flares and batteries, which I'm full on. Can I over here I missed? No, nope, not the problem I can see. But I got the most important thing, and that's what matters. Oh, no, nope, shotgun ammo. Gonna open the big red door. Yeah, okay. So I can go down to the uh, caution. <laughs> nice. <gasps> oh, a manuscript page. Oh, that's right. You can go down here. So this shit looked like it was modeled. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Mm. Okay. So I assume she wasn't, like, the bad guy right away. I assume that's just kind of something that was inf inflicted on her. You know, in case you hadn't found the revolver at this point. I'm not exactly worried about burning ammo. They, there's so much stuff for it. Yeah, I'll say this. They literally gave me an infinite revolver box. So I'm making it that, like, the heavy duty flashlight. 
doesn't seem, it doesn't look like it's any more powerful. It seems to just hold more battery life, which is fine. Ooh, flashbangs. Okay, hold on. I should stop right now before we get too deep in this. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this saw, please do all the things, and I'll see you in the next episode.